Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to everybody, all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining. It's been a little while, you know, guys. I've been pretty busy. Um, I'm at home, as you can see, guys, right now. So I wanted just to take this chance to uh, to make a quick video, you know, and I uh, wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's going on and where I've been and what's been what's been happening. So you know, we're, we've been, it's been past a year now since we've been here in uh, in Canada in Toronto and. Uh, I've been just mega busy with work, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm in a job that I've been at for the last uh, six months now almost, and um, it's been really, really busy. I work in construction, and I've got a lot of projects on in and around the GTA. That's one of the things I like really about my job is that uh, historically, and you know, in England and here, it's, uh, it's, it's projects that are happening in real life. There's stuff that you can actually go and see in venues and places you can visit. and. Um, and so that's that's the really exciting thing about my job is that you get to see your project come to life, right? So I've been so busy, guys, with work, and it's just been back and forth. I've been trying to finish off some jobs, and when I'm not doing that, I'm struggling with this immigration process, guys. This is going to be a frustrating video. It's a venting video. Um, I have almost almost had enough with this immigration process. It's it's tough, guys. It really is. Um, as you guys know, we we're here in Canada on a um, two-year IEC working holiday visa, and the truth is, guys, it's such a strenuous process. It's difficult. It's strenuous. It takes up a lot of energy. My job is extremely busy, so when I'm not doing that, I'm focusing focusing all of my energy onto immigration, and you know where I, I'm. I'm biting the bullet now. I'm preparing myself as much as I can, even though we have like you know eight months or seven months left on our existing visa. I'm I'm preparing now because, as you guys know, I've been looking at it, guys, almost every week for the last five to six months, and nothing is changing. And I just don't know um, when it's going to get better. Now I've seen a bunch of videos. People have approached personnel that work for IRCC. People are, are, you know, people are stressed and people have families, you have kids and they're here on work permits and the work permits are soon to be running out and Canada is not doing anything to safeguard those people to stay. Now, it's, it's a really frustrating process because, you know, people have moved here, people have established themselves here, the work permits are running out which means they have no idea about the future, about their finances, about where they are going to settle, where they're going to stay. Are they coming? Are they going? And on the other hand, the employers are losing good employees, people that have worked with them for one, two, three, you know, even longer. And if those work permits run out, the employer really loses out here as well because they have to now go and find new talent and they have to make up a new relationship and build up a new relationship with these with, with new staff members and, and it, it's strenuous for them they've got to go through this whole application process again uh, when it comes to jobs and it's obviously stressful for um, all the immigrants that are here on work permits and, and are absolutely struggling now if you've been watching any of it um, you know that the scores have been in 500s right and they've barely came down to like the 490s I think maybe 489 I, I might be guessing that one but it's definitely been in the 490s now i don't know how many whiz kids <laughs> are here but some of us are over 30. some of us have done the english test twice i have now done the english test twice guys and um, you know i looked at everything i've made the profile you know we're in the pool and doing all of this stuff and i was looking at our scores and i was looking at the cutoff and i was looking at the last five months of how nothing's really drastically changed which is what people are hoping for um, and nothing's happened and the, the scores have barely come down in fact I think it's gone worse let me let me make that clear I think it's gone worse I think um, we were having a uh, draws where there were PNP CEC there were everyone in together uh, no specific draws and they were coming out they were knocking them out and you know people were getting selected I was like, and now we've just moved to PNP and FSW federals uh, skilled workers and um, PNP provincial nomination programs, right? So now there's all these people uh, on the CEC that are waiting. CEC guys is a Canadian experience class, and uh, that means you've worked here for one, two, maybe more years, and that gives you extra points, right? So 
and e even still, you know, the CEC guys are waiting. I know they had their time. They had the moment was during lockdown. The two years they were just doing CEC draws every other week, and it was great. Um, but even for the guys on PNPs or FSW or CEC, I know some people that have four four ninety for 485 and they've been waiting for months and months and this is so stressful i've joined the pool we're not even close to that number um i i i'm an english speaking citizen i i'm a british citizen i've been speaking this language my whole life and on two shots that i prepared for on both times um i i didn't get the maximum points right it, it was absolutely insane um it's so hit and miss with the with the English test, and it's a very difficult test. I did the IELTS uh, British Council, and um, even if I get maximum points on that test, I uh, will barely, you know, hit four sixties, four seventies. And and once upon a time, guys, that was a great score. People at four forty, four fifty, four sixty were, you know, after a couple of months, they will get selected. But the way it's looking now, um, I don't think that um, anything's really drastic going to happen. People have been waiting and waiting for so long that I think everyone, not everyone, I know a lot of people that are now jumping onto PNPs, provincial no nomination programs, because they are purely running out of time. The clock's ticking for anyone that's on a work permit here in Canada. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's such an odd scenario. You know, a lot of people have come, established themselves, paid taxes, prepared their profiles, done English tests, done all this stuff, and now it's a waiting game, right? You could be waiting for a long time. Some work permits are not extendable. Some are. Uh, again, there's more payments and pro processes and paperwork to go through for those um, for those areas. But realistically, guys, um, the wait can go on forever. Work permits can run out. People have to go on to visitor status. Uh, people have to walk away from their jobs. Some people risk it and, and you know do do other things with uh, with their employer and try and find other jobs to keep them going on the side, you know, and all of these things are, you know, they're not good because it puts your whole profile at a risk and um, all that hard work that you've done, it then goes against you, you know, for making a few uh, errors just to survive in Canada. So what do you do? Do you go back home? Do you live in a basement and run out of money? Um, you know, or, or do or by some stroke of luck, do you get selected? So people have started moving to PNPs and, just because they're running out of time they're saying well let's leave this province and go to a province where i might get accept accepted in in two to three months you know i'll put a, a letter of interest in or a notification of interest as they call it and um or maybe you know their fingers crossed and they've selected all provinces and they're waiting to be um reached out by one of the the different provinces that we have here in canada and, and it's really a, a risky a risk to be honest um it, it until you can exhaust all of your options and really maximize your points you will run out of options and then you're just going to be waiting um, now if you guys uh, are watching and you're part of this community i'm going to try and make videos more regular um, honestly I'm, I'm pretty stressed and uh, you know a lot of my friends and family they can kind of sense it they can they can really sense it you know just from being around me or listening to me and, and hearing about what's going on and all these kind of different scenarios we're facing you know ultimately we've made a small life for here for ourselves in toronto you know i don't really necessarily want to stay um, to live in the gta uh, it'd be nice to get out um the, the country uh, the country guy comes out on me once in a while and, and i really love the open space and you know downtown's just a lot of right now it's a lot of snow and traffic so you know, it's not exactly exciting, but I'll be making uh, more regular videos because I want to be able to document the journey for myself of what happens. Um, but I also want to have a place where other people that are in the same scenario have a place to come click and vent and hear me vent and hear me go through the processes and go through the ups and downs and the peaks and troughs and the, each week when they do a draw. And it's a ridiculous number and you know they're only selecting 700 candidates when 240,000 plus people are waiting um, you know to hear some kind of different better news i truly wonder if it's a automatic automatic selection 
it feels like a computer just scoops off people 495 plus every week and um, they they either do that or they, they select the PNPs which they've been doing or they've been doing the FSWs and the points are so high and it just feels like some automated system scoops off the top level and uh, everyone else is left to wait right so for me the, the waits uh, the wait has started I made my profile a month ago and um, we are now looking at all of our options trying to maximize all of our points uh, seeing what avenues we can go down and um, I'm gonna try and you know I'd love to say I want to do it every week when the points come out it might be a silly video because I'm at a point where I'm, I'm trying not to emotionally in, invest into this. This is an entire case of facts and figures, numbers, and your profile. I'm trying not to invo emotionally invest myself into this process because it's gonna be a set of wasted energy. But what I wanna do, if I get the chance, is I'm gonna make some videos and I'm just gonna vent and I'm just gonna, you know, when the points come out, I probably just want to come back on YouTube and I want to scream and shout at you guys <laughs> or at something or at somebody um, just so you guys know that you're not alone if you're going through the same process and there's a lot of us waiting for the CRS points to go down for some sort of, uh, you know, the automatic selection to stop and for them to manually drop the points down to 450 or 440 when someone's got a realistic chance. Um, so I'm going to try and come back and vent and vent and vent each week until something really happens. And uh, I want that journey to be documented. Uh, I'm busy in my work life, but it's not, you know, all the time. It's it's work life. So in my spare time, you know, I want to be able to have the chance to come back and let it rip because it's uh, so frustrating. Um, you know, there's all this energy that's gone into it, all this all this moving, this physical energy, this emotional energy, this financial energy, everything's gone into this. So if you guys are in the same situation as me, as probably 200,000 other people are in the express entry right now, um, join me on the journey and, uh, and let it rip too. You know, if you guys are frustrated, if you want to swear and scream and shout, go right ahead, you know, because that's how it all makes you feel. Um, and then aside for that guys, honestly, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to keep some more videos coming. Um, I, I want to really, um, you know, document this, this journey now that we've gone past a year and, you know, life feels now like it's a little more settled. We've gone into routine with work and, you know, you know, summer hopefully is on the way. Winter this, this time around wasn't too harsh. Honestly, it was, it was pretty easy compared to the first winter that we had. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's just a random video just to catch up, to let you know what's been going on and what we've been going through. Um, spending a lot of money on immigration and, and doing tests and, and paperwork and stuff. But fingers crossed, guys, and uh, feel free to join me every other week or whenever these draws have come out that I want to be able to come back and make a video and, uh, and collectively scream. Thanks, guys.